What's up guys, we're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. As much as I really like this phone, I can't recommend it as a daily driver. Here are my reasons why. First and foremost, design. Now, this is pretty much the same design as we've seen from the original Fold four iterations ago. And I liked that phone back in the day. That was a game changer. But Samsung really hasn't changed the design that much. I mean, yes, you could say the edges are a little bit more refined, better quality materials, the hinge feels a little bit better, but the, it feels still like two phones slabbed together on an angle. It looks very, feels like they need to update it a bit. And it makes it very bulky and very not easy to carry around, which brings me to the number two point, ergonomics. This is a very thick phone, okay? And it's also kind of this candy bar narrow shape. Now, if you're using this full screen on the front of it, you want to do pretty much all your phone tasks like that. The keyboard is very narrow. You're gonna do a lot of misty strokes on that. But also at the same time, you wanna open it up, but then you're also worried about damaging that front display. If you're a content creator, you wanna get creative with your shots, you wanna take this out and you wanna do some things with it. It's a little bit, still a little bit, neither here nor there. I don't feel it's as refined as it could be as of yet. It'd have been nice if the phone was actually a little bit wider, case in point, like, the Huawei Mate XS2. Now this, when I open it up, feels like a smartphone. The size of the front of it feels a, like a normal smartphone to me, which is enjoyable, it's more convenient, it's easier for me to use and navigate with. This feels a little bit too narrow. Also because of the weight and because it's so sleek and so narrow, you put this in pants that aren't spent, like tight jeans like what I got here right here, you sit down at a table, chances are it's gonna fall out. If you wanna cycle, you wanna run, you wanna exercise, because of the ergonomics of this thing, because of the weight, you may have a drop phone and that's a very expensive phone to drop. Next, let's talk about protection. The original Fold had a nice case inside of at least a cover to at least protect a little bit of the phone. Now with the Fold 4, you get nothing. You get a box and a cable and that's it. Samsung now wants you to buy the accessories. Now they could say, oh, it's about being eco-friendly and spending less on packaging. And I'll call that BS and I'll tell you why, because you still gotta buy it. Guess where that case comes into? Another package. So this whole eco thing is just a way for them to make money. And you're spending $2,600, Singapore dollars, mind you, for the 512 version of this phone. That's a lot of money for a phone. And they don't even give you covers to protect this. Yes, you could say it's, this Invictus glass is durable or they can say it's more durable, but I'll tell you what, and I haven't tried it. You drop this phone once, you gotta worry about that foldable display inside of it and you gotta worry about the glass on the outside of it. And I would not wanna get this thing replaced because it's gonna cost a pretty bomb. And last but not least, the overall usability of the phone. It's cool what Samsung's done with the software. You can continue from what you're doing on the inside to the outside of it. But I still feel that they haven't mastered the ability to use a foldable phone in a way that feels just like you're using your normal phone. I feel like they've done this better with the Z Flip 4 than they would they've done with the Fold 4. Now these are just my personal opinions. You may disagree with me on this. But I feel like this shape and this design I've never gotten comfortable with it for longer periods of time. And I was hoping that Samsung would have changed the shape a little bit, make it a little bit more user-friendly over time, make it a little bit thinner, make it just more easier to use. And they do a bit of it with software, but at the same time, I still don't feel comfortable with it. Now, let's talk about some positives real quick, because this is not all about negativity, okay? The dock, the dock on the bottom of this is absolutely awesome. And this was a feature that they should have had a long time ago. It really does make navigating the phone a lot easier, especially when you have it opened up. And it gives you more of that sort of that PC, more of that laptop or you know tablet feel versus what it was before, which was just kind of like a, a wider screen phone. Um, outside of that, power, the performance, it's great. The cameras are really good. Not as good as the Galaxy line, uh, the main line that we tested earlier this year. But you know what, to the average person, they're not gonna notice a difference. If you wanna do video and wanna do photography, the cameras out of this are great. But to me, it goes back to that feel, that ergonomics, and just, I just don't feel secure with this phone to recommend it as a daily driver. But if you have the extra coin and you wanna make this as your secondary phone, go for it. But if you want one foldable phone to get as a daily driver, I would recommend the Z Flip 4. To me, I love what they've done with that design. It makes a lot of sense. Clamshell, small fit in your pocket, you're on the go, and it just, works awesomely. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Galaxy Fold 4. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Anyway, we got many more phone reviews coming up. Click on these right here.